on the recent past, only two states have been heavily active when it comes to politics. And there's no prizes in guessing what these states are. Now, well, now the ra land rates in these regions have skyrocketed. But hold on, the government has intervened and put a check on them. Here's a report. You seldom think that distancing yourself from politics will probably spare you your peace of mind. But have you ever thought of what a deep impact politics has on your life? Take the example of people living in Guntur, Vijayawada corridor. The politics of this state has had a profound impact on them. After the division of the state, Telangana government has been pushing the Andhra government to shift its capital from Hyderabad at the earliest. And that had created quite some tension in the joint capital. But soon enough, Chandra Babu Naidu began dropping hints that he would build the capital of new Andhra Pradesh between Vijayawada and Guntur. And just this speculation has created a phenomenal rise in property prices around this region. Property values in this region has risen by a quarter in the last year and up to six-fold this year. The demand for property came from locals as well as non-resident Indians who were looking to invest in the area. The increase in price was so alarming that the government decided to get a piece of the action. So just when the people here began to think that real estate sector here would make them overnight millionaires, the government has stopped the process of land registration. And this has been done so that the government can immediately hike registration charges and make some money while the real estate market is still booming. Rehmat, News 9, Hyderabad. Now, the highway connecting Madikeri to Rajpet seems to be becoming a threat for the people there. But even after repeated incidents, the authorities seem to be turning a blind eye. Here's a report. Look at the people here. They have geared out the cops on the state highway connecting Madikeri and Rajpet. That was about the people who were protesting on the highway. Now, look at these people sitting at the edge of the highway and crying. What is the reason behind this chaos? Why are the women crying? A six-year-old killed in an accident. Six-year-old Prajwal lost his life on this highway when a Mahindra pickup van hit him from behind. Residents of Hakator became furious and took to the streets to protest against the accident. They alleged that it was due to the narrow road that has led to several such accidents killing innocent people. And this time, the life of a school student. This highway which has become the death trap for many is only 15 feet wide. According to the people, it becomes difficult for the pedestrians to walk on the road due to the narrowness of the road. This has created a fear psychosis in the minds of the people and they feel that there is no guarantee for their lives. The people requested the Zilla Panchayat members to take steps and widen the road. After this incident, the Zilla Panchayati members visited the spot and promised that they would soon widen the road. With the number of accidents increasing on the road, the people now want the authorities concerned to take necessary steps soon. But how early will the authorities wake up from their slumber is what remains to be seen now. Manjunath KB, News 9, Madikeri. Now we've heard about elephants, leopards and other wild animals entering human habitat. 
Now, the villagers in Gadak districts are perturbed by an animal known to be rather soft in nature and harmless to mankind. Take a look. These deer running in the fields are certainly a treat to watch. But the farmers of two villages in Gadag are not happy. Lakundi and Maran Basri are under attack from these deer. Farmers in these villages usually sow green peas in the month of June. As soon as they are done with sowing, the deer menace haunts them. According to the villagers, the deer usually target their fields in the middle of July. The scanty rain this time around has made them visit the pea farms in the first week itself. Farmers of other villages, Haralpur, Kaniginal, Rambapur, Yavagar, Asuti, Karmaudi, Malwada and Shigli have also complained about the deer. Ron Taluk is said to be the worst affected with deer running amok in the farms and eating up the crops. The villagers say that the deer have troubled them every year and they want the government to find a solution now. Sanjeev Pandre, News 9, Gadag. Now, Ganesh Chaturthi is just two months away and though the preparations are hardly the concern right now, an NGO in Bengaluru has already begun promoting an eco-friendly option to ensure less damage to the environment. Ganesh Chaturthi, one of the many festivals which sees loud and pompous celebrations every year. But unfortunately, the aftermath of these celebrations spells bad news for Bengaluru's lakes. To prevent excessive damage this time around, several stalls have come up across the city, creating awareness on clay idols. This is intended to reduce the damage caused by idols made from plaster of Paris, which are not biodegradable. Parisaravana Pujisi, Namaganeshanu Pujisi and on the Bianana Shurumadi Andre, Ganapati Matra Devru, Parisara Devrala, Anoprashnental, Adre Goto Gotildeno, Ganeshanana Puja Madi the Nantara, Lakshantra Jalachargulna Shagate, Keregula Halagate, Anthar Jalaketo, Tidala Buddhi went through Matado on the Vishanta and Comedy. You get generally no money with Marti, no money with Bengaluru, Atra Karnataka, the Aude Mulere, Jade in a money in a Ganapatina take the Kodi. An NGO called Samarpana has offered to deliver customized clay Ganesha idols to your doorstep. All you have to do is visit one of the stalls and make a booking of your choice. The idols also come in various sizes, but they are mainly focusing on the ones smaller in size because not only is it easier to handle, but also dissolves faster after the visarjan. <laughs> The stalls in Raja Jinagar and Maleshwaram have received over 300 bookings in just the past two days. The idea is becoming really popular, especially with the option of getting your own customized Ganapati. Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations are expected to be no different this year too. The NGO intends to sell more than 10,000 such eco-friendly Ganesha idols before the festival on the 21st of August. All this in a hope to reduce pollution of lakes this year. Maltesh, News 9, Bengaluru.